very good Monday morning to you. This is Data Explorer's Stock Learning video and I'm Jessica Johnson. Some regulatory news first of all. As of Friday, banks and money managers in London guaranteeing rights offers of financial services firms will not be able to short sell the company's stock to hedge potential losses under a rule change by the FSA. Underwriters and so-called sub-underwriters will not be able to protect themselves by shorting stock even if the sale reduces their overall exposure without making them net sellers, lawyers said on Friday. In Australia, the Federal Parliament has passed the updated bill on improving transparency in short selling, although final regulations have yet to be put in place. The Senate passed the unamended bill late on Thursday after a short-lived move by Green Senator Bob Brown to use the bill as a vehicle for cracking down on excessive termination payments for executives. Stocks now, and we're going to look at the global automobile industry, starting off with Ford, which has seen a large amount of short covering, down from 27% of its shares outstanding in July to 15% now, and up from 14% last week. Utilisation is at 73.5%. Shares, Ford's excuse me, share price has fallen from $7 in June to $2.7 now. As you can see from this graph of General Motors, utilisation has increased significantly in the stock, up from 70% in late September to 90% now. The percentage of shares outstanding on loan has decreased from nearly 35% in July to 18% now because the lendable quantity has dropped sharply in the last five months, from 170 million shares to 86 million shares now. General Motors' share price has fallen from $18 in June to $5 now. On to Renault in Europe, which has seen a decrease in short interest from 8.5% of its shares outstanding on loan to 4% in October. Since then, the percentage of shares outstanding on loan has risen to 6%, and the share price has fallen from €60 Euros in June to €19 Euros now, and utilisation is at 27%. Now onto Volkswagen, which saw a rise in short interest from 8% in June to 16% in September, but then the shares outstanding on loan fell dramatically to 7% between September the 23rd and November the 10th. The share price has risen from €200 Euros in June to €300 Euros now, with a large spike in share price in, in the price in late October, as we all know. Thank you very much and have a very good week.